See if I can keep this kind of short for you. If you're looking into these rotary burr heads, uh, your burring tools, I'll tell you what you're looking for when you head over to here. So China uses a different hardness scale. To cut to the chase, you're going to look for YG10 and YG8. Let's just get to some bases, though. Let me get you on, uh, down the bases. This, these are the rods. This is the shaft of that guy. This is a YG10 scale. And these are what the tips look like before they cut them. Uh, and let's see if I can get you a... Uh, so there's the balls, you can see. And this is what your end result basically looks like after they machine them. And then put the rods together. It's as simple as that. With that said, this is what matters. This is a 9.3. So this is a YG10, I think, um, which is your hardness scale. It's up there in, in the carbide, tungsten carbide. Now, then from there, you might wind up getting marketed, and they put some titanium tips on it, they tell you. Uh, what's this? Titanium carbide. So it's it's what you just I just showed you. And then they add this titanium coating of whatever percentages. I don't know that they add on there. And then you're here. You're off twenty dollars. Uh, you also want to uh, see the cross cut. That's got two directions, and also the tightness of those um, uh, the teeth, if you will, the ridges. They're going to give you a more smooth cut when they're close like that, based on your RPMs also and what you're trying to get over, uh, what you're trying to take down. The longer your rod is, of course, the imbalance. Uh, is in the rod itself and also if they didn't put this on that head just perfectly even yeah you're going to have an imbalance you got a spindle spinning out there at 50,000 rpms yes it will bounce around all right so this one says it has an hr of 60 hrc of less than 65 that's kind of a weird uh weird way to brag about your product i think it should say greater than but they went with the less angle you know it's it's china you know the way they talk all right so this says uh, rotary burr this one is covered and what they say, titanium carbide. As we scroll down, we look at it, and really it says materials, tungsten carbide, and then it says surface, titanium coated. So you do not have a titanium carbide product. If you had a titanium carbide product, titanium carbide, you'd be up here at 2470, but you basically have a just a, a tungsten carbide. You're down here at 1880. You're not at 2470 with that way to do that titanium carbide would be a merging of the two products together and that would be titanium carbide you would have a hardness up here on this scale this version of a scale of 2470 and but in reality you've got an 1880 and i don't know what is below uh what the titanium on the surface actually does all this carbides are not you're not just getting a straight carbide let me show you what a straight carbide looks like i have a tab for that okay so this is your yg10 these are plates, carbide plates. I'm going to go with China because this is where stuff is coming out of. This is the 8, I believe. So you're looking at a YG8 tungsten carbide. And as we scroll down, you can see the hardness is 90, 90.5. So that could have been a YG8. Uh, a 90, a um, YG10 goes from 95 to 91. Well, I guess it is a YG8. It can't be a 10 because it starts off at 90.5 and we were at 90.3. Very close. So here's your fluted design. This is going to be smooth, more smooth for you. But again, they're tying this stuff together. This looks like it's just a blank, and they cut right into the blank. As you can see, um, cut right into the uh, rod, and they created this deal here, which is very, very, uh, you know, that's going to give you your, well, you, you have to figure out what you like that. They cut right into a rod. And if you recall, I showed you the rods. That's all that is. There is no special head added to it. Okay, so let's get to your scales real quickly again. They're going to be here. So here's your titanium carbide. This is the same thing if you want to drill out, tap out something. I was going to do a video showing if you can't get in, you know, you want to drill out a hole. These might work if you can get one that's got a nice center to it, doesn't bounce all around. Um, in theory, you should be able to drill through the, the drill bit uh, through your, uh, your bolt. Or with the with one of these products, the bouncing out. You don't want to hit the threads on the side of the walls. All right. So you obviously can go through your cast iron products and things like that real easily when you're doing your tapping. Let's slide over to these other scales. I do not um, different hardness scales. 
I didn't think I'd show you. We don't need to see Young's module. Um, here's your nine, and that's what's equivalent to the tungsten, car tungsten carbide now. Oh, Mose, uh, nine on the uh, on that. So you're pretty much up there. Here's your tungsten carbide again, and it's equivalent to that, which is a nine. Your tungsten carbide. So you can see how hard it is. So if you're trying to figure out what you're trying to go through, first figure out what the metal is. Then you know what you need to use based on scale, what you're going to go through it with. Now the carbide is very brittle, it can be brittle, so be uh, you know be careful. Go in a little bit, keep it cool. Um, don't don't hammer it, um, drill it out. FC10. This is a scale used also, and it it's the one that's going to be the equivalent to equivalent to federal carbide FC10. Federal Carbide's FC10 is a YG8, a YG10, and a YG9. Coming back to here, if you look at the F10, so this is your F8 or F10. It says, of higher impact strength and shock resistance than FC3, FC4, of course, up here. FC10 is a, appropriate for metal forming dies and punches. Wire drawing, uh, that, this is for when you, um, this is a uh, templating for making uh, square stock into round stock, etc. Don't worry about that. That's a tube, tube drawing. That's what all that's about. What you care about is the first part for uh, metal forming and dies. So that shows you your, your hardness there. And again, it's FC10, which it comes out to uh, YG8, and it's your Chinese carbide standard. See it? And YG10. It is nothing to hate on. As I scroll over, um, that's my torque video I want to do for you guys another time. Now you see again, here are the heads. Here are the cones, if you will. The heads look like cones to me. And you can see what they cost. And they put this stuff together, and you're done. You know, there's your, uh, there's your deal. You wind up with these guys here. Again, it's the tips you're concerned about. That's your cutting tool. This part you don't care too much about. Of course, you want to know that this thing is quality. It's not going to break off. You want to know your RPM ratings of that. With that said, you want to wear a shield when you're doing this because imagine if that came off, you're out an eyeball. All right, so hopefully this helped you. Understanding, don't go crazy about, you know, this Chinese stuff. It's good enough. If it's a YG8, YG10, purchase it. You're not going to get any better in the United States manufacturing. I have looked. And they're coming back to the same thing. Perhaps they are buying it from China also, but their metals are equal to the to the YG8, YG10, your carbides. And now you do have higher versions of carbides. That's your mixes, you know, that they're doing, the titaniums, etc. Uh, but this will be fair enough to, to conquer what you need to do. So you need to make sure that it is YG8, YG10. You're only, you're going to go up and scale a little bit. So YG8, you know, carbide, all, so all this stuff's good. In other words, you do not want any plated stuff though. You don't want something that you want solid heads. So when they say solid carbide, tungsten carbide, you use rotary blur. You want a solid head, that tip. Don't worry about the shaft. You want to make sure it's the head that's, that's properly uh, that that is the carbide. So this says uh, solid carbide rotary blur. Um, burr set. Um, so this one, this one is, is definitely you know doable. I'd say you're you're going to be fair. You're at quarter inch now. They do change this a lot. Everybody gets something a little less than quarter inch. There, you got to look at the comments how you feel about it. Might not fit in your chuck properly, your tool, and lock in properly. You know that, that's the that's the that's the craftsmanship. They're they're upsizing their metric their version to saying it's an eighth inch or whatever. When in reality it's metric, and it's not an eighth inch. They don't deal with with that in China. They metric, so they're uh, taking liberties at that point. You're going to have to figure out how you can work that. Again, all of these, as long as you see YG8, YG10, buy it. You're you're going to get you know you're not going to be out any money. Now, of course, the heads are what you care about, this cutting section here. This is all about tooling now. This is manufacturer you may like, how this manufacturer tools their head over another manufacturer. I'm trying to get this to come up. Um, how this manufacturer tools the head over another. And 
Let's see if I can go larger again. See, I, I like that. You can see the grooves are deep going all the way across. Some of them don't go all the way across. Some of them don't go as deep um, as you look here to the one here. This tooling on this where my mouse is now, they couldn't finish all the cross cuts apparently. Some of the cross cuts, like right here, it looks like they're missing. Um, the rest of the tooling looks pretty good. The ball head is, uh, you know, looks pretty good. You know, you're only a few dollars out, you know, but purchase it. That's your cutting head. If it doesn't have it, then you're not going to be doing too much cutting, are you? And you're going to be fouling up a little bit, but that's it. And you want the higher rating here. So snatch them in, snatch any and all up, whatever you want to do, you're going to be okay. It, the shorter the, the shorter this guy is, the more, uh, the least stick out you have out of your tool, the least it's going to vibrate and bounce around. Now, you would like to be able to find a manufacturer that somehow manages to center his heads, their heads nicely. Um, that's something you can write them. You know, how balanced is your tool? Can you show me your, how you, uh, your quality control, how you're lining up your heads there? You know, that, it's still a guess. The longer tools, yes, they're pretty, but they're going to want to bounce around on you. Um, let's take a look at this one, for example. Here's one eighth. Uh, the one eighth guy is not going to be as stable as the, uh, the larger one. Um, the one eighth is going to rotate. Let me get this right. So the one eighth is going to rotate faster than the quarter inch one. Yeah, it will have a faster speed. So you're going to bounce around. You want a variable speed tool when you're working with this. Now this has a different head on it. So yeah, look at the cutting. So yes, this will cut differently. It's not going to be smooth. It's got a big gouge it's going to be jumping at. But it's worth you buying it to see how you know it might be your refinement tool. And, you know, you might be good. Now this has a front tip on it. It's going to act like a drill. It's flat. It's going to have all types of bouncing back and vibration. It's going to tear your tool up if you attempt to use the top of that tool. Don't, don't, don't do that. You know, figure out the happy medium on what you're doing here. So I'm, oh, let, let's look at this one real quick. So this, okay, for clarity here, the carbide I'd like to see on here, and there's all these ads, are, would be around 90, the hardness rather. You want to see the hardness up there. That way you know you're getting more uh, carbide, carbide in your in your mix. This is a mix we're looking at when you see less than 65, or you see them saying 80, etc. Closer to 90 would be more of a stronger carbide mix. With that said, you should use some softer mixes too because it'll give you a smoother finish. As if it was too hard, it's, it will just grind it off. Whereas this will be a nice blend of removing it if you use a some softer carbides in your mixes also of your formula for for grinding.